flaming gas. Listen, do you have any idea how late it is? I have work tomorrow and I don't appreciate some random chick texting me and saying she hates my girlfriend in the middle of the night. What do you mean that's not what you wrote? Yes, you did. I have the proof right in front of my face. Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> you sent me, and I quote, Hey, hey, you, you, exclamation mark. I don't like your girlfriend in capital letters. And then a second later, no way, no way, followed by, I think you need a new one. And if that wasn't clear enough, I got enough devil emojis to last me a lifetime. Wait, hold on, wait, 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 wait a second. Are those song lyrics? <laughs> Is that you, a little monster? Ding, 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 huh? the hell? Why didn't you say so? You wanted to see if I could figure it out on my own? <laughs> How am I supposed to do that when you break your phone and refuse to give me your new number? It just says unknown caller on my end. If I didn't know any better, I'd think you were avoiding me or something. <laughs> oh, you're not. Just want to keep me on my toes, huh? So this is what I get after not seeing or hearing from you for three months? No, hey, how are you, Jesse? Or, sup? Just straight up Avril Lavigne? Oh, it's my fault, is it? Why? You're not making any sense. Well, I didn't recognize your voice through all that noise in the background. Also, you sound kind of weird. Do you have a cold or something? What? I should have known it was you through our psychic sibling bond. Step siblings. Smart ass. Why do you always have to be so... So... <clears> hmm. <throat> awesome. Yeah, all right, if you say so. Oh, yeah, you think it's fun hearing me get worked up? Fucking typical. See, this is why we can't sit through a nice family get-together anymore. You always have to get on my last nerve. Yes, you do. No, 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 don't, 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 don't. What's the matter, bro, me? You know I hate when you call me that. What are you, a kid? No, stop it, stop. I'm not your fucking brother. Semantics, oh, I see. Someone has turned it into quite the linguist in her time away from home. Yeah. Anyway, what are you up to this late? Don't you have a thesis on anatomy to write? Or are you just hell-bent on causing trouble? Bar hopping, huh? Where? Closer than you... What? I... Okay, okay, slow down. I get it. You've been at it all night, but... You ready to head home? Okay. Are you alone? Or with someone else? Your friends. Any of them close by? Yeah? Well then, could you pass the phone to one of them, please? No, of course I want to talk to you, but could you... Can you just... Okay, okay. Can I please just ask your friend a few questions? 
because you're slurring and you're too stubborn to admit when you're in over your head. Did you just hang up on me? I'm just imagining it. Okay, sure, okay, fine, princess. Quit stalling and pass the phone. Don't roll your eyes at me. How could I tell? I just know. Psychic bond, remember? Okay, okay, just, just do what I ask this time, please, for my sanity's sake. Hello? Hi, Katie. Sorry to bother you, but... Do you know the age and middle name of the girl standing next to you? Yes, the one making faces. Okay, good, good. No, I'm, I'm, I'm just checking. I wouldn't put a pastor to give the phone to some stranger. My little monster tends to be a little bit flighty. Is she alright? How much has she had to drink? <sighs> okay, um... Could you do me a favor and call a cab and make sure she gets home safe? I don't want her walking alone to the subway. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I'll spot you the money. Yeah, no problem. I know taxis in New York City can be a bit of a bitch and... What? What do you mean you're not in New York? Wh where the hell are you guys? Bucktown? Wait, you're in Chicago? Text me the address. I got here as fast as I can. Did she throw up? No, just needed some air. Okay. Thank you for staying with her. No, it's not nothing, really. I mean it. Thank you. Yeah, 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 I got her from here. You can go back and join the rest of the party. Yeah, I'm sure. I, did. I live just a few blocks away from here. Thank you, again. There we go. I left the toothbrush you used on the sink, so you know where it is in the morning. Oh, and if you wake up in the middle of the night, just help yourself to... Whatever. I went grocery shopping yesterday, so the fridge is stocked. Mm, I know, I'm very thoughtful. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to crash on the couch. Wake me up if there's anything else you need. Night. Hmm? Don't want me to leave yet? Well, how can I say no when you ask so sweetly? Want me to tell you a bedtime story? <laughs> no. Why do you always play with my necklace like that? You always tug on it when you're sleepy. Don't worry, it's still there. See? Look at you eyeing me all suspicious. What? Afraid I'll lose it someday? Maybe. No, I'm not that careless. You gave it to me when I turned 22, remember? Yeah, I know. But it has sentimental value. 
<laughs> Jeez, you're like an owner checking her dog's collar or something. Who says it's not a collar? Why? Was this your way of putting a leash around my neck, little monster? It was. Well, fine. I can be your dog if you want. Just don't be surprised when I bite you. Maybe you wouldn't mind if I did. Oh, Jesus. You must be drunker than I thought. <laughs> Wait until Mom hears about this. She's going to be so excited when she finds out you're moving back. Well, yeah, she's always whining that you don't visit enough. One could almost think she didn't have a child of her own. Hmm? She already knows. You went and saw her last week? Wait, you've been here for a week and you saw her and not me? Tell me, did I... Did I do something to piss you off? Why would I think that? Well... First off, this summer you started acting all weird and flaky and it felt like you were pouncing on any excuse to push me away. Yes. You did. You didn't want to go swimming together when we went to the lake house with everyone. And don't get me started on all the times you turned me down when I invited you to play baseball with me and the guys. You know, first it was a headache, and then it was your period, and then you were too tired. Enlighten me. When have you ever been too tired to play sports? Exactly, and then you went off to school, and I didn't hear a beep from you until now. I didn't even know you were considering the transfer, for fuck's sake. And here I was, going around thinking you were too anxious and busy with assignments to even talk to me. And now you're saying that you'd rather spend time with my mom? All right, all right, your dad was there too, but still, that's my point. Do you notice the pattern here, or am I the one who's crazy? No, hey, don't fucking yawn at me. Just tell me what I did. It's important to me. I want to know. What do you mean you wanted some distance? What was that? I didn't hear you. You needed to find a way to fall out of love with me. What are you? Hey, hey. Hello, did you seriously pass out on me? <laughs> now? <sighs> I can't fucking believe it. Fine, little monster. Have it your way. But I'll be right here when you wake up. Oh, fuck.
Stop hovering. <laughs> okay, I will when you stop pretending you're still asleep. Look at me. That's better. You and I need to talk. No, I'm not mad at you. I'm fucking furious. Don't you dare fucking move. Oh, really? Because I think it's a great idea. Say... Do you remember what you said last night? No, don't look at the door. If you think about bolting, I'll tie you to the bed if I have to. Huh, why do I sound so serious? Because it is. It's very serious. Were you ever going to tell me how you really felt? Oh, this is what it's been all about. Hasn't it? You avoiding me, keeping me at arm's length, it all makes sense. No, hey, don't try to joke your way out of this. Don't. Don't. I said quit playing around. When were you going to tell me you had feelings for me? Sorry. Okay. Then I have one more question. Did it work? The distance, I mean. No? What? What? What do you mean what's gotten into me? I thought it was obvious. Maybe I didn't do it properly. Come here, let's try it again. Oh, you're one to talk. Wrong. Baby, how could this be wrong? I'm not thinking clearly. <laughs> no, you don't think so? Because I think... I, I think that kissing you was the best decision I've ever made in my fucking life. But I'm not... I don't know how many times we have to go over. Never was, never will be. I don't know why you're freaking out about this. Our parents married when we were 17. It's not like we grew up together. Yes, I know that, but we lived in the same house for less than six months before we both went off to college. And then I moved out and you continued pursuing your master's degree. I, hell, <laughs> we're more like occasional roommates, if anything. So stop with the family crap already. No, you were always just... The daughter of the man my mother married. Nothing more. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Just let me finish. But soon you became the woman who made my world bright and full of laughter and mischief. The woman
woman who challenged me in everything I did, who teased me, who gave me hell. And I adored you every second of it. I have never once looked at you as a sister. <laughs> so can you please stop avoiding me? Because there is no reason for you to run away. Okay, okay, slow down. Just forget about our folks for a moment. Forget about what everybody else would say or think. Just, what do you want? Yeah. It's that easy. Okay. Think about it like this. It's your last day on Earth. And the world will go boom in a couple of hours. Who would you want to spend your last moments with? Well, I know, but I have to be dramatic. How else am I supposed to get through to you, little monster? Just answer the question. settles out then. <laughs> hmm? Am I even attracted to you? <laughs> Is that seriously even a question? I don't know if you've noticed, but I want you. I've wanted you from the moment I first saw you. See, we're jumping straight to conclusions. And here I was content just kissing you senseless. <laughs> I have a type now, do I? Okay, then. Let me tell you a secret. Do you recall that afternoon when our parents introduced us? excuse myself to use the bathroom, remember? Yeah. Well, I didn't go because I needed to take a leak. I went away because the tomboy who sat across from me in a too big t-shirt and a cast on her wrist was pouting with the most kissable mouth I'd ever seen. And when she looked straight at me, she made my heart pound like crazy. <laughs> I thought I was gonna go insane. And then when she asked me to play basketball with her after dinner, didn't you notice that I always made sure to stand behind you that day? No. <laughs> then I guess I'm good at hiding how I feel. Maybe not as good as you, but... Huh? What about the girl I have feelings for? I'm not sure I should answer that. Because. I'm waiting for you to put two and two together. And the wheels are turning. 
turning and <gasps> oh mm -hmm. the light bulb flickers on <laughs> folks we have a winner <laughs> If you're still not convinced, you know you can always look down and I'm sure you can see for yourself how attractive I think you really are. Yeah. I don't know if I can put it any simpler than that. You think we've wasted enough time already? Let's not prolong the inevitable. I need you. <laughs> <laughs> 